The five biggest problems at Chelsea FC, surprising reasons for their struggles. Well, folks, it's been a season to forget for Chelsea. They've been kicking off like a rusty moped, with performances as inconsistent as a teenager's mood swings. Chelsea has only two wins in their last nine Premier League matches. 1. Injury Crisis Injuries have been hitting them harder than a Tyson punch, leaving them to feel the lineup that looks like it's been put together with a blindfold and a dartboard. Reese James and Ben Chilwell who both play huge roles for the team are both injured. Other big injuries include Mason Mount, Villo Conte, Sterling, and Broja. 2. Recruitment Far more concerning problem than injuries. Since Todd Bali's arrival, there is no strategy for signing players. Chelsea is going after players linked with other teams or for players who came into the limelight recently like Enzo Fernandez at the World Cup. There is no long-term thinking or vision. They have spent £450 million since Bali took over. Romelu Lukaku was a total disaster. Their latest signing Mudrick was tracked by Arsenal but Chelsea signed him out of nowhere. And Joao Felix who arrived on loan recently, got sent off in his first appearance and now is suspended for three matches. They act like a kid in the candy shop, going on and signing all the shiny things available. Fans regard these signings as flop after flop after flop. 3. Strikers curse at Chelsea and horrible form. For 20 years, after Drogba and Anelka, they had struggled with strikers a lot even after spending 380 million euros on strikers. In a match, Chelsea subbed the recently subbed Obama Young. Potter preferred a lot of midfielders instead of him when they were losing against Man City. According to critiques, Chelsea was playing with 10 men with Abba on the field. 4. Massive transition. In all, nine players who were part of the last season's squad left in the offseason, leading to a record spending summer. There's been tension brewing in the dressing room like a cup of instant coffee, and their morale has been lower than the stocks of a struggling meme page. The whole process of selling the club has been dramatic, to say the least. Late last season, all the club's accounts were frozen, naturally deterring the focus of the players and backroom staff at the time. Eventually, the club was taken over by American billionaire Todd Bolly, but things still did not go swimmingly. There were multiple reports of disagreements over signings between owner and then manager Thomas Tuchel, most noticeably over signing Cristiano Ronaldo. Then, to complete the transition hat trick, Thomas Tuchel, the steady constant amid the uncertainty of sanctions and upheaval of the takeover, was stunningly sacked just weeks into the new season. 5. Lack of leadership. They've been as cohesive as oil and water, passing like they're playing hot potato and understanding each other as well as politicians during an election year. No new players can match the personality of John Terry, Frank Lampard, Michael Essien, or Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard was a prime example of that. William had a season where he perpetually delivered when his team struggled. Even during Chelsea's most dominant period the likes of Frank Lampard or Didier Drogba were on hand to produce a goal or moment of magic to steal a win when needed. Currently, too many talented players, those capable of making a difference in key moments and tight games, are out of form or low on confidence. Kai Havertz has all the makings of a world beater and has shown glimpses of the same but is too inconsistent this season. Hakim Ziyech and Pulisic also have been hot and cold so far. Sterling has been too wasteful, and Obama Young, well he is nowhere near his best. Safe to say Potter has not made much of an impact so far. But hey there's always next season right?